Welcome back to my channel Math School. In today's video, let us solve the question number 7 from exercise 3.2, chapter 3, pair of linear equations and two variables. In my previous videos, I have completed the questions 1 to 6 from the same exercise, examples 1 to 6 and exercise problems 3.1. If you have not watched these videos, do find the link in the description box below or click let us begin with the video. Question number 7 from exercise 3.2, chapter 3, pair of linear equations and two variables says, draw the graphs of the equation x minus y plus 1 equal to 0 and 3x plus 2y minus 12 equal to 0. Determine the coordinates of vertices of triangle formed by these lines and the x-axis and shade the triangular region. So here they have given us pair of two linear equations. Using these two linear equations, we have to draw a graph and, and determine the coordinates of vertices of a triangle formed by these two lines and the x-axis okay and we have to shade the triangular region so first of all let us draw the table and find out the x and y values to plot the graphs for the given two pair of linear equations here given the two equations are x minus y plus 1 equal to 0 and 3x plus 2y minus 12 equal to 0. So here first of all let us find out the value of x from equation 1 by sending all the other terms to right hand side. So we get x is equal to minus y is going to become plus y and plus 1 will become minus 1. Now let us assume the values of y substitute in this equation and find out the value of x. So let us assume first the y value to be 0. So x we get as 0 minus 1. So here we get minus 1. Similarly, let us substitute y is equal to 1. x is equal to 1 minus 1. Here plus 1 minus 1 will be 0. So let us draw the table now x and y. So for y equal to 0, we got x as minus 1 and for y equal to 1, x value as 0. Similarly, let us find out the values of x and y in from the second equation. So here, first of all, let us determine the value of x by sending all the other terms to right hand side. So we get 3x is equal to this plus 2y will become minus 2y and minus 12 will become plus 12. Now again, let us send this 3 to right hand side it comes in the denominator so this is minus 2y plus 12 divided by 3 again let us assume the value of y let us substitute here y as 0 initially so we get x is equal to minus 2 into 0 plus 12 divided by 3 this minus 2 into 0 will be 0 so we get here 12 by 3 so cancelling 3 1 times 3 4 times we got x value as 4 similarly now let us substitute y value as equal to 6 so we get x is equal to minus 2 into 6 plus 12 divided by 3 here minus 2 into 6 is 12 so it will be minus 12 and plus 12 divided by 2 minus 12 and plus 12 is equal to 0 so anything divided by 0 is again 0 right so let us draw the table x and y for y equal to 0, we got x value as 4. Similarly, for y equal to 6, we got x value as 0. Now, we have obtained the two tables. Now, let us plot these tables on the graph. Now, let us plot the points on the graph by taking x-axis and y-axis according to the table. So, first, let us write down the scale which we have taken here. Scale is equal to the same values on both x-axis and y-axis we have taken. So, we will write x-axis is equal to y axis is equal to 1 unit is equal to 1. So now let us plot the points from the first equation x minus y plus 1 equal to 0. So here at x equal to minus 1 on x axis we have to take minus 1 and on y axis it is 0. We get a point here. Let us mark this point as a at x equal to minus 1 and y equal to 0. Similarly the second point is at x equal to 0 y is equal to 1. So we get a point here. Let us mark this point as b at x equal to 0 and y is equal to 1. So we obtain two points. Let us join these two points with a straight line representing the equation minus y 
plus 1 equal to 0. Similarly, let us plot the points from the second equation 3x plus 2y minus 12 equal to 0 at x equal to 4 and y equal to 0. So on x axis we have 4 and on y axis we have to consider 0. So we get a point here. Let us mark this point as p at x equal to 4 and y equal to 0. Right? Similarly, let us plot the second point at x equal to 0 we have to take y is equal to 6 so we get a point here let us mark this point as q at 0 comma 6 join these two points with a line representing the equation 3x plus 2y minus 12 equal to 0 if you observe the intersection of these two lines is at point e and what are the vertices of this point E? On x axis it is 2 and on y axis it is 3. So we get a point here 2 comma 3. In the question they are asking us to, to determine the vertices of a triangle formed by the intersection of these two lines. So here if you observe there are two triangles formed that is triangle EQB and triangle EA and P. They have also mentioned in the question that we have to consider triangle formed on the x-axis. So this is the x-axis and the triangle formed on the x-axis is E, A and P. So what are the vertices of E? It is 2, 3. Vertices of A is minus 1, 0 and vertices of P is 4, 0. So these are the three vertices that we had to find out and now we have to also shade the triangle formed by these three vertices on X axis. So let us shade the triangle. Okay, so this is how we have to plot the points stained by pair of uh, two linear equations and then we have to shade a triangle formed on X axis by these two lines. So let us write down the answer here. Triangle EAP is formed by the given lines and x-axis and the vertices of triangle formed are 2, 3, minus 1, 0 and 4, 0. So this is how we solve the last problem from exercise 3.2. If you have any further doubts, do comment me below in the comment section. In my next video, let us learn the section 3.4 algebraic methods of solving a pair of linear equations from chapter 3 pair of linear equations in two variables. So till then, do like my video, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos as I'll be completing the whole syllabus for class 10th SLC insert math. And also do watch the related videos of chapter 3 pair of linear equations shown on the screen. Thank you.